Well, look at here. Officer. Officer. First day back on the force. Officer. And we get a damsel in distress. Officer. Let's change the world. Officer. 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 What? There's a car. A car. There's a deer. Then this yeah. this hitchhiker came. Okay. There. Man. Man, blood. Man, calm down. Officer. Man. Yeah. It looks like you need a candy bar. Hello contestants and our lovely studio audience. This is the final round of the 16th annual Trivia-Rama of the Upper Midwest Region, League AA. You know all about AA, don't you, Officer Backus? <laughs> globe, globe, globe. Out there, I may just be a worthless member of the police force, but in here, I'm judge, juror, and executioner. Got it, smart mouth. Did they reinstate you? Even after that joyride? With that hooker? She was doing blow on your naked thighs? Because you told the cops that it's easier to drive drunk if you don't have any pants on? It wasn't a hooker. That was my wife. Enough of this. The title is on the line. The Trivia Rama Kings will be crowned, and oh yes, it will be us. Team Earth Mud Copy and Book Lounge. We beat your ass last year, the year before that, and the year before that. We? Don't you mean you beat us? All that one ever does is pound free shots and, and hits on women. He's right. I'm going to go sit at the rail and whoa. Oh. Okay, all right. Change of plans. I'm going to her house. All right, let's begin the final round. Remember, each team gets 10 seconds to answer before the other team can steal. Hey, Officer Bacchus. Remember when you stole that meth from evidence? And then you kidnapped that waitress? And thought you fled in Mexico, but it was really Wisconsin? <laughs> then the waitress got free and stole all your meth and your gun and your money, and your squad car. That waitress was my wife. Weren't you saying something about starting the game? Jeez, this is going slower than a Tom Petty concert. You say another bad thing about Tom Petty and I'll slap those glasses off your stupid hipster face. You're going down, Pine Vinyl. The only thing going down is your mom on me, my balls. Real mature. You shut up, you hipster shit. Awkward. First question. Garth Brooks set an attendance record in Minnesota for a string of arena shows in Target Center. How many? The answer is nine. Suck it, coffee stain. Garth Brooks, barf. Next question for Team Earth Mud Coffee and Book Lounge. What song was Jeff Buckley singing when he was last seen swimming before his death? Oh, I know this. So do I. The answer is Led Zeppelin's Whole Lot of Love. Pretty lame song, though. Hey, Hipster Cal. What? I ran over your bike when I was coming in the parking lot here tonight. I ran it over. So. Next question is for Pine Vinyl. What Jamaican reggae star tried to murder Mick and Keith of the Rolling Stones? Can we get new questions? These are so easy. The answer is Peter Tosh. Durr. Correct. And may I add, these questions are direct from the official Trivia-Rama offices. There will be no... Hey, Officer Bacchus, remember when the cops came to your house for a domestic disturbance? But your wife wasn't there anymore? It was just you tied to your toilet with like a tennis ball gag in your mouth and some lady lingerie thing on with full-on makeup? And then you got embarrassed and shit your panties in front of all your co-workers and respected peers? Do you remember that? That wasn't my wife. That was a prostitute. What? You son of a bitch! No, baby, no! No, please don't go! Don't take the... Ah, shit! That was my ride home. Alright, fine. I'll give you a ride home, Officer Bacchus. You're under goddamn arrest! You can't arrest me. You can't arrest anything. You have zero authority over anything. You know what I can do, you little pecker? I can kick you out of Trivia-Rama. And I can strip your crown. You wouldn't. I just did. Fine. DJ will represent Pine Vinyl. 
He's our floor boy and janitor. No way. That's not fair. According to the rules, it is fair. All right, DJ. Do you remember the plan? Yeah. Bluetooth. Exactly. I'll feed you the answer and you say it. Just like if you actually knew the answer. Yep. Bluetooth. You keep saying Bluetooth. Makes me nervous. It's a pretty simple plan, man. Don't worry. I got this. You will say the answer and through the Bluetooth I will hear what you say and I will say that to the judge. Duh. Yes, yes. Perfect, perfect. Put in the Bluetooth and let's do this. It's already in. In where? It's in my belly. Why is it in your belly? Did you eat the Bluetooth headset? You told me to keep it safe. So you fucking ate the thing? Yeah, it's a Bluetooth. I, I put it where I put my other teeth. Mr. Rubburn. Do you think it would still be cool if I got that ride from you? Even if it's just kind of by my neighborhood, I can totally walk the rest. Okay, fine. Oh, 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 oh man. That stupid ass punk just took the squad car. I saw that. From inside the coffee shop. Where I was for 45 seconds. He was dressed like a cop. No. He had a hat. That was it. A cop hat. In fact, it was your cop hat, wasn't it? Oh, what do you want from me? God damn it. I'm recommending you be taken off the force. Oh, what the fuck? It is not safe for you to have or carry a firearm. You not only have a shockingly low knowledge of the law, you seem to lack any ability whatsoever to function rationally in any social setting. Are you parking my wife? No, I'm not. As soon as Officer Willis gets here with another squad, I'm going to restrain you and then formally arrest you. Oh, come on, Jill. I'm a good cop. My name is Bill. Not Jill. Nah, no, fuck that. I'm going to arrest someone and you'll see how good a cop I am. You'll see. Resisting arrest. Now we get to shoot him in the heart. Yum. <sighs> Stop in the name of law. Sweet shit, it smells like a skunk party. What? Oh, <laughs> you mean this new air freshener? It says new car scent, but, you know. You've been smoking grass. The African American is smoking it right now. Go off Sabacus. Where's your hat? Nah, some cocksucker stole it. You shouldn't say that word. What word? The cocksucker? Yeah, that word. You shouldn't say it. It's offensive to gay people. Oh, Jesus Christ, you sound like Jill now. Who's Jill? Is that your old lady or some shit? No, it's my partner. He has a girl name. <laughs> oh, that son of a fucking bee finally shot me. Oh, oh right in the shoulder. God damn it, Jill. You fucking turd! Yeah, you're a, oh, you're a fucking turd! Oh, God damn it! Uh, a lot of blood, a lot of blood, a lot of fucking blood! Oh, help, help me! No, help! <clears throat> What's that smell? It smells like marijuana. Do you guys enjoy prison? I ain't going to prison. I ain't shooting no fucking cop. I ain't part of this, so we gone. Right? We gone. Rug burn fucking, we gone. Right, later. <laughs> We're paddling, paddling, we're paddling, we're paddling, we're drinking, we're drinking, we're drinking, we're sitting out of the store, we're going the block, down the block, we're going down the block, we're going to stop trying, we're going to hit stop trying, we're going to come around, we're going to swing back, we're going to paddle, we're drinking, we're paddling, and we're drinking, this is the greatest night of my life. <laughs> You're under arrest. Worth it. I can't believe it. It's really over. Man, I was sure the bank was going to give us more time. Guess I need to find me a job, then. Damn it! There's got to be a way we can save the record store. Come on, think! Well, I have an idea, but I didn't want to pull it out unless it, it was a back-against-the-wall kind of shit. Okay, but... what's the plan? Any plan will do. we got to save the record store. we got to save Pine Vinyl. All right. First, we need to stop someplace. Cut across Lindell and head up Franklin real quick. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
Oh, what the fuck? Hey, Steve Buscemi, you just rear-ended my car. My name is Corey, and I had the right away. Uh, what the fuck are you talking about, bro? You drove into the ass of my car. You jammed on your brakes. Oh, so you're stupid and a liar. I was accelerating into the flow of traffic. Yeah, while under the influence of marijuana. Uh, what'd you say? You and your friend are high from smoking marijuana. Hey, Ellis, look, here's a racist. Uh, we are not high, so stay in your fucking lane, pal. Hey, why are you filming this? My YouTube channel, What the Fuck Street Fights, is up to 12,000 subs and growing. So what I do is I just wait for fights, and there's gonna be one real quick. See, that's the problem with your generation. You're just fucking around. Don't you have a job? Shut up, man. I'm one of his subscribers. I love What the Fuck Street Fights. I watch that shit all the time. I can't wait to watch him beat the shit out of you. Oh, yeah, right. This fucking twist tie couldn't beat the shit out of a tuna sandwich. I'm calling the police. I'm being violently threatened by a drug addict. Oh, give me a break. You rear-ended my car. I'm a no-fault. Minnesota law clearly states. Cops will be here any second. Good. I'm going to tell them the truth. They're bringing a pot breathalyzer. That's not even a real thing yet, you fucking nerd face. Hey, look, the cops. Ah, <coughs> oh, shit. What the fuck, dog? You shot me, motherfucker. You shot me in the shoulder. Oh, motherfuck. You better have that body cam on, motherfucker. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it's on. Click. So, uh, what seems to be the problem here? I'm the only black motherfucker in this whole place and you shot me, bitch. Ah, uh, he's gonna keep going with it. Alright, here's what we have to do. Here, before we get too sidetracked, though, I just want to report that this uh, piece of shit ran into my car, rear-ended me. He can't even remember what happened because he's so drugged up right now. Is that true? Are you guys on drugs? Is that why I shot that black guy? No, nah, motherfucker, you shot me because you're a bad cop and you're a racist, motherfucker. Anyone call an ambulance? Yeah, yeah, I will. Let me just get the pot breathalyzer first. Wait, for real? Thanks to the wonderful video evidence supplied by WTF Street Fights, which is a big, big hit in our house, we are able to rule in your favor, Mr. Ellis Griggs. The city is very sorry for your inconvenience. For your trouble, we will reward you a cash settlement of $185,000. And again, we are sorry for shooting you. Here's all the money, Pine Vinylos. Give me our keys back. Bitch! Open for business. Man, Ellis, that was one hell of a plan. Risky. Really risky, but wow. You pulled it off. Yep, pulled it off. I took a bullet. Guess what? I'm your boss now. You know what? Fair enough. Fair enough. Yo, Rugs, this new stuff hits different. You look like a cow. Or some shit. It's a horse. And her name's Cecilia. And you're under arrest. Officer Bacchus, didn't see you up there. Why are you riding a horse? Because apparently my driver's license isn't valid anymore. How many DUIs do you have? A bunch. You should not be a cop. Oh yeah? Well, you're under goddamn arrest. For what? For being under the influence of marijuana. God damn it, horse. Where you go? Heal, God damn it. Cecilia. You can't control your horse? Yeah, usually, but she's probably all loopy because of the contact eye. Now put your hands behind your back. Horse, God damn it. Christ apple, Cecilia. Go back to the perp, you dumb fucking horse. Does Cecilia like brownies? What are they, like pot brownies or something? Oh, come on, man. It's just chocolate and cashews. Ooh, I love cashews. Uh, give me one of those brownies, too. Mmm. Mmm. Those are pretty good, but they uh, tasted a little funny. Probably all the weed I put in them. Ha <laughs> ha, very funny, you asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Oh, fuck. What are we going to do for lunch? You want to try the White Castle Sloppy Joes or what? White Castle, you say? Oh, hello, young man. What can I help you find? All right, fam. 
I'm in this ship with this girl, and she was acting straight sus last night. She said I need to start staying in this band Black Midi because she heard this bop while slipping in the spot. She said that, and I was shook because she don't eat for too much dank stuff. She's not on fleek on the rag. She's usually pretty extra, but she's yapping that, and I was dead, bruh. I hit up my BF, who pretty basic, but knows a few, and I was like, yo, who Black Midi? And he felt straight lazy boy and was like, dog, they are ratchet ass but pure trill. So I was like... If it's Gucci, I'm 100. So I hit up the Googs and bounced. Uh, what? Oh, for real, bruh? You better check your boom assault before I get straight savage on a Winnie and wig snatch this shit on the Soch. Yeah, I'm not getting anything. Are you from America? OMG, this is Cray. I can't even. All right, sounds good. Have a great rest of your afternoon. Fuck y'all. Will do. So we hitting up White Castle? Yeah, that's fine, I guess. I'll just take my anti-diarrhea pill before we leave. White Castle. Hey, fellas, my name is John Smith, and I'm looking to buy a bag full of weed. Look at what we have here. You look familiar, Captain Mustache. Where do I know you from? Yeah, maybe you saw me smoking joints around town or something. I don't know. Anyway, would I'd like to purchase some weed. Uh, this is a record store. We sell music. We don't participate in the illegal sale of recreational marijuana. Oh, okay. Well, I heard from a weed buddy who says he comes to Pine Vinyl and gets all his weed. What's your friend's name? Who? My friend? Uh, weed friend? Uh, his name John. John Smith. Isn't that your name? What? No. Oh, yeah. Yep, same name. It's why we smoke weed together, probably. Yeah, same name stuff. Anyway. Well, John Smith, your friend John Smith is probably lying to you because we don't sell weed here. Okay, but, uh, hey, what if I tell you the secret code word? Oh, you know the code word? Where, what's the code word? The code word is Aja. Aja? Aja. Uh, did you say Aja? Aja. All right. Uh, one second while I go grab it. Oh, that'd be great, thanks. And here you go. What the fuck is this? Uh, Steely Dan's big breakthrough album, Aja, featuring the smash hit Peg, a real turning point for the band. The compositions are more complex, but the hooks are as big as ever. No, 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 I'm not here for goddamn Steely Dan. I'm trying to buy a bag of weed. We don't participate in the illegal sale of recreational marijuana. All right, for fuck, whatever. Where can I go find some, then? Uh, you go California, you go uh, Illinois, you go Michigan, you go Colorado, you go Washington State, uh, go you go Alaska. Oh, uh, fuck. Mm. Portland Avenue, pretty flat on foot at 1,300 feet. Over. That's a copy. Hey, John Smith, what do you do for a living? Me? Uh, I do. Uh, work. I work in uh, the factory. What do you make in your factory? Uh, this is Officer Flat Code Eleven, suspect flat on foot, uh, winning ten twenty nine. Over. Uh, we make all kinds of stuff. Hey, Rugburn. You remember that pussy-ass cop who was assigned to our high school back in the day? Yeah, it was dumb fuck Officer Bacchus. Remember when he let Jared Van Buren hold his gun and the dude started pumping shots off into the cafeteria ceiling? Yeah, that cop was dumb as fuck. Yeah, well, he was probably just dealing with the shit assignment and trying to make the best of it. <laughs> nah, John Smith, this dude was a joke. He smashed his cop car into a flagpole because he spilled coffee on his dick while chasing some goth kids through the park. Oh, the that's right. Didn't he try to sue the school for making the coffee too hot or something? Nah, he sued because he cracked his ass on the stairs after some freshman flicked a pop tab at his dumb face. Look, I don't know who this Officer Bacchus is, but it sounds like he was dealing with a bunch of ungrateful pieces of shit. Nah, it wasn't like that. He got reassigned after he asked a 15-year-old for a hand job. Well, maybe he thought she was just a hot young teacher or something. All officers stand by, 10-8 in progress, suspect in red sedan, boot driving northbound, over. That's a copy, 10-8, uh, quarter, quarter, and over. Remember when Scott Gustafson stole his badge and made him buy it back from him for like 200 bucks? Yeah, 
But when he gave it back, it was some bullshit dollar store one. And then Officer Dumbfuck didn't know the difference. And then the chief of police found out because he was whipping it around at the Double Deuce trying to get some blow from one of the strippers. You know what? Surprise! I am a cop. Guess what? You're under fucking arrest. For what? For being a couple of pricks. Okay. So, just the Steely Dan for you today? Uh, So you say this one has some good tunes on it? Oh, yeah. It's filled with bops. That's what the cool kids call them these days. Well, fuck the cool kids. And God knows how you've tried. Hey, Burnout Benny. Why do we have to meet in this park? My place is being watched, man. I saw Officer Back is peeking in my windows when I got back from the gym. Going to the gym? Nice, good for you, Benny. Yeah, I was selling shrooms and frisbees in their parking lot. Made like five grand in an hour. Nice. So this new stuff's pretty fun. It's called the 8-Bit. What the hell did you just say? It's called the 8-Bit. It's kind of a weird name, I know, but it means... I know exactly what it means. It means Nintendo and Sega and Mario and Mega Man and Earth of the Night and Power Blades and Evil Sons that drop fire. It means we're all gonna get lit and go 8-bit. Yep, let's go. Oh, wow, yeah, uh, that would be cool, man, but no, it's actually different. You smoke it and you then get bit by eight mosquitoes in a row. Hence the name 8-bit. I don't have time for this, man. Are you doing a joke? Is this a bit? Is it a video game weed or not? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Cool. Gave me a thousand dollars worth. Alright, where we be? We be in the world of 8-bit gaming, Alice. Look up there. It's telling us the adventure that lay ahead. <clears throat> the friendly village of Pineville has been taken over by an army of evil ghouls and goblins. Their leader... Awful Bacchus wants to rip out all the beautiful pine trees and rid the land of good vibes. Protect the magic pines as you make your way to Awful Bacchus's evil lair and save the village from evil. Is there going to be clowns in this thing? Because I ain't fucking with no clowns today. No, this seems more like a horror-themed game. Maybe some zombies, werewolves, definitely bats. There's always bats. But doubt any clowns. One more question. Why... Am I just like Left Eye from TLC? I don't get that reference, but I got a sweet ass blaster arm. We got three lives. Let's do this. Word. Look at these ugly fuckers. Suck my blast, you rat bastards. I think we need to climb those ladders. Man, these are long fucking ladders. Ain't they got some elevator or some shit? Be careful, Ellis. There's always little flying enemies during these ladder parts. Oh, look, I see one. Whee! What the fuck was that? It looked like a pig's in a blanket. Not sure, but it left a power up. Jump out there and grab it. Are you nuts? Look at how high we are. I ain't jumping out in that shit. Just jump and change directions mid-flight and land back on the ladder. Mega Man does it all the time. Mega Man? What are you doing, some Trump stuff? I thought we were done with Trump stuff. What? No, just, you'll be fine. Just jump and grab it. Look, it's like a three-way blaster. That could really help versus the boss. You sure I can just change directions and land back on the ladder right in mid-air? You think I can do that? Yeah. I can't think of a single game that didn't allow it. You'll be fine. All right, but you better not be lying to me. Trust me, Ellis. I had no friends. Yeah, that's true. All right. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh, fuck! I did think of one. Castlevania. You can't change directions when when you're playing Castlevania. Well, now I know. Now I only got two lives, motherfucker. But guess what? You're dead, bitch. You can't hurt me, Ellis. We're on the same team. Man, you're really not good at video games. And you are no good at pleasing women. And you will be alone for the rest of your life. 
Uh, update. I was wrong. Apparently teammates can hurt each other. Oh no, this is what I was worried about. The dreaded ice level. I hate ice levels. Why? Because the ground is slippery and it's impossible to stop. Oh shit, here I go. Oh god, towards the bottomless pit. Oh fuck, 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 please stop, please stop, please stop. Oh, <laughs> Alright, now we're even, I guess. Two lives left. Oh shit, I'm sliding again. What the fuck? I wasn't even got Alright, let's get off this stupid level before I die again, okay? I don't know, I kinda like it here. Yeah, I know you do. Cause you're an asshole. Wait, am I... You have got to be fucking kidding me. God damn it! Oh. oh, what? You stole one of my lives. That ain't fair. I had to push start. You can't beat the boss alone. Now, this looks like the final level. Castle levels are usually the end. Is that a skeleton come creeping up on us? Yeah, all game castles have killer skeletons. Let's go. Quick, let's get to this door before the spikes come down. <laughs> Alright. We have to jump on these platforms and get to the top of the tower fast. You go first and I'll cover you in case any of those skeletons pop up. Word. <laughs> Oh, where are you going? Vanishing platforms. Classic. All right, Ellis. Anytime you enter a large empty room, it means you're about to fight a boss. But it seems too soon for a final boss. <laughs> oh, it's a clown. It's a clown. I played Contra enough times to know always aim for the big red circle. Alright, we're on the roof. This is the final boss. That must be him. Ha ah, ah, ha ah. ha! You think you can defeat me? I will destroy you! Alright, Ellis, we have to blast together. Are you ready? You let me die like three times. Fuck you. I ain't helping you do it yourself. Well, you're lucky I see a power up. Hey, Bacchus. Game over. No! You come back again, Bacchus. You're not going to be so lucky. All right. I don't know where nothing is in this joint. It's so sad to see the Burnsville Mall like this. I remember as a kid, they had those big handicap ramps you could run down from level to level. Oh, yeah, I remember those. Me and Jerry Homestead used to ride our skateboards down those things. Dude broke the shit out of his leg once. It was awesome. Sounds awesome. Hey, remember Aladdin's Castle? Yeah, that's where I used to play that juiced-up Street Fighter game. I'd hustle those middle school kids out of their lawn mowing money. Used to make a killing. I still remember the day they brought in Mortal Kombat. But that was clearly a long time ago. Well, all right, well, Jenny really wants a leather coat for her birthday, and she likes those fringes and shit, and I thought, well, right, doesn't this place have Wilson's leather? Yeah, about that. Wilson's Leather? I don't think has been a store for like 18 years. Damn, really? To be honest, I don't think any stores are open. Did it just get darker? <laughs> Damn, did you hear that shit? I did, Ellis. And I think I know who it is. Who is it? You messing around with some dude that wants to kill you again? Honestly, Ellis, I don't even know anymore. I've pissed off a lot of people lately. 
feels like almost every week. Hey, have you ever heard of the Phantom of the Burnsville Mall? Nope, but if you're going to start a long-ass story, I'd like to go get comfortable and hit this blunt. That's a great idea, Ellis. And I know the perfect place. Well done, sir. This is the perfect place. Although it is sad to see the mall like this, it's oddly beautiful in a way. Like a time capsule of a pre-internet world. I'm hungry for steak escape. Yeah, and wash it down with a little orange Julius. Yup, that shit was tight. I love me some orange milk. <laughs> Lights out. Damn, dude, what the fuck? Calm down, Ellis. It'll be okay. It's just the phantom of the Burnsville Mall. Who he be? He be a restless vagabond in search of a place to call his own. Some say he's been traveling from boarded up mall to boarded up mall all through this country and hopes to make it here. The birthplace of malls. The great North Star State. Minnesota. Shut the fuck up. Is this guy going to kill us or what? It depends, Ellis. Are we trespassing in his home? Oh damn! Is this motherfucker living in the fu- in the in the ball pit? Get out! Rah! Ellis, where are you? I'm in the trash can. Where are you? I'm in a trash can, too. Are we in the same trash can? I don't know. We could be. This weed is very good. Yeah, for sure. This is a nice chair. I might take this home. What chair? You mean the garbage you're sitting on? Aw, damn. I'm in a garbage can. What the fuck are we doing? I think we're looking for a leather coat for Jenny. Oh, yeah. You know this mall used to have a Wilson's leather? I wonder if they still got one. No, Wilson's closed in 1998. Get out. Who the hell? Oh, right. The Phantom of the Burnsville Mall. Remember? Yeah, I don't know anymore. Let's get out of here. I'm hungry for some Panda Express. That's a good idea, Ellis. Yeah, hurry up. Get out. Uh... Chill, dude. We're leaving, okay? Hey, Ellis. I wonder who's under the mask. Probably some dude we don't know. Or maybe it's someone we do know. Why would we know who this dude is? Well, there's a chance that we rip his mask off and we know who it is. Yeah, but not a good chance. Oh, interesting coming from you. Okay. Hey, question. What's bigger? One half or one quarter? My dick. My dick's bigger. Yep. Okay, so maybe we can agree you shouldn't use math to prove your point? I said get out of my home! DJ, now! What the fuck? Were you planning this the whole time? Yeah, sorry, Ellis. I couldn't tell you sooner. Uh, You mentioned leather coats earlier, and I thought, hey, this is my chance. Why not catch this dude, you know? DJ, you did? No, he's fine. So let's unmask this villain and see who it is. Officer, Officer back. Bitch. Yeah, I live here, okay? My ex took the house and the department won't hear my appeal, so I've been doing security in this goddamn mall. What are you securing? The front door is open and uh, nothing to steal. Oh, yeah, okay, well, um, well, guess what, Malcolm X? You're in my home, so I'm legally allowed to shoot you. This ain't your home. This is a mall. Stop, Ellis. Can't you see Bacchus is at an all-time low? I know we've had confrontations with him in the past, but I think right now he just needs a place to stay. Somewhere to get back on his feet. So let's just leave him here to live his life. We owe him that, at least. Right? Yes. My name is Duncan White III, and I'd like to report a homeless man living in the Burnsville Mall. Oh, you son of a bitch. Describe him? Uh, a little hard to see, but he sounds like a black man. I'm not black. Uh, He's got a gun. Yep, 
He's armed. Please hurry. I'm so scared. Thanks yeah. so much. Bye-bye uh, now. All right. You're probably all wondering why I brought you together in this alley. Probably because of that dead dude lying on the ground. Right? Interesting. You sure seem to have a lot of information on this particular dead person. I tripped over him when I was walking up. Why'd you shoot him? Tell me, boy. I think you're doing this wrong, Bacchus. What? Aren't you supposed to address each person and reveal where they were at the time of the crime? And then at the end, revealing the true murderer and their motives? Well, you have thick goddamn glasses on. Are you able to identify this black man as the murderer and swear on the oath about it and stuff? Why black man? What are you doing? Sorry, Bacchus. I was not here when the crime took place. It's Officer Bacchus. Thank you very much. They let you come back to work? Weren't you, uh, on unpaid leave for something? Yeah, durr. I shot you in the shoulder. Because you frightened me. And then you had to cry about it. Hey, Bacchus, did Hipster Cal maybe kill this guy? I think I saw him do it. Sorry, I'm only here because I thought, hmm, there's a cop. Maybe Spaz Attack had a heart attack. Oh, cute, that rhymes. Hey, Cal, why don't you go fuck yourself? Swing and a miss. Per the huge. It was him, Bacchus. Arrest him. He didn't kill him. Then who did? Boy, you sure have a lot of questions. Is that why you killed the victim? I was with him for the last two hours. He didn't kill anyone. Oh, hey, Jenny. Ellis didn't tell me you guys were dating. Glad you're happy. You seem much happier than you did when we dated. So this makes sense. Hey, Bacchus. Maybe you're onto something with that whole black guy thing. Well, that's all I need to hear. Get in the back of the squad. When did the department switch the squad cars to 20-year-old Honda Accords? Damn, is that an Uber sticker in the back? What? Don't worry about it. It's what I... whatever. Now tell me why you stabbed this person. Stabbed? I thought you said he was shot. And I thought we were best friends. Hey, guys. Not sure what's going on. But, uh, I gotta meet a guy at the parking lot of Lowe's at 4.30, so, you know. You're under arrest for selling drugs! Oh, wow. Officer Dipshit can see crime in the future, just like that Tom Cruise movie. Oh, Bacchus, if you can see into the future, uh, can you tell me if I find someone? You know, like how Ellis found Jenny with the titty tattoo, even though he said he just wanted to hit it and quit it, I believe the quote was. All right, the hippie and the black guy, get in the car. You're under arrest for murder, drugs, and making this loser Muppet guy sad. Wait a second. Did the body just move? Ah, oh, shit. Hi, I'm Richard Leakes. Boy, this little murder mystery is a real pickle dick. How's about I clear things up for you? Would that sound good to you? Well, would it? All right, here's the scoop, Papa Poop. You see lying there under the sheet is that rascal DJ. All afternoon, he had been playing a vigorous game of hide-and-seek with himself. After a while, he got tired and decided to take a little nap. Meanwhile, Bacchus was driving along in his 2001 Honda Accord, the special edition. He spotted the body on the ground. At that very moment, Inspiration struck Bacchus in the form of a plan to get his old job back. Bacchus was going to frame the very man he shot so he could prove to the chief that he was right for shooting the guy in the first place. Of course, this plan makes no sense because Bacchus is a certified fucking moron. Well, that brings us up about to speed, dickweed. So yeah, let's get back to our story. Hey, DJ, is that you under the sheet? I think he's hiding. Hey, DJ, you hiding? Yeah, count to ten and come find me. Ellis is awful at hide-and-seek, DJ. Don't bother. He's also awful at being faithful. 
Once a cheat, always a cheat. Is that what the saying is? Sorry, Jenny. What? That's it. You're under arrest for being a, a bad boyfriend. Nice. Arrest her, too. She cheated on me with him. Okay. Hey, babe. You want to go to Perkins Family Restaurant? Get some whipped cream waffles and banana pancakes? Mmm, let's do it. Cool. Let me just call an Uber real quick. Hello. Where are you headed? I'm in Minneapolis now. Need a ride to Perkins off 100 Nidana. Sounds good, sir. I'll be there shortly. All right, you pricks. You lucked out today. But the next time you fuck-ups fuck up again, I'll be there to arrest you. Oh, you son of a bitch! Officer Bacchus? It's just Bacchus. I'm working off hours on this case, if you know what I mean. Yeah, you mean no police force will hire you because of your disturbing personal record? Is that what you mean? I taught kids not to do drugs, remember? But then you did them. All of them, right? What? Drugs are the kids! Cause I didn't do any goddamn kids! Relax, man. Holy cow. Let's stop focusing on you and do my thing now. Okay, I called you because I have a stalker. They left a series of clues. And I was hoping with your professional law enforcement mind, maybe, uh, may didn't you go to police school or something? Right? Didn't I see like seven movies about that? Yeah, you gotta go to the school. I went. I'm just as qualified as any of the goody two shoed cop. Yet you smell of alcohol and crime. So you got a clue to show me or what? For Christ's sakes. Yeah, right. Uh, let me start from the beginning. So a few weeks ago, I was walking up to my apartment above the store and I see a pile of poop. Big, long, human sized poop. I ask Ellis and he says he didn't do it. Plus, he's weird about pink eye, so I know he wouldn't. So I think, all right, who in my rogues gallery could it have been? As I'm debating which one, a brick comes smashing through my window. No note or anything, just destruction. My window is pretty high up, so that had to be one hell of a throw. Every night since, they will drive by and honk their horn every hour, all night long. I need to catch this piece of shit and give him a justice sandwich. Hey, are you Rugburn? From Pine Vinyl? That guy? Yeah. What are you doing? Are you playing some stupid game, Bacchus? Oh, am I wearing my costume? Yep. Okay. Shit. <laughs> I forgot. Whew. I think I need to cut back. So who are your main suspects? I need to get to bingo by 745. Well, since the first attack involved shit, I thought, well, Hipster Cal is a piece of shit. Probably him. But he could never throw a brick that far, nor does he have a car to honk. So then, I had to try and think of who else hated me enough to want to shit on and kill me. Surprisingly, there is a lot of people. But I was hoping, with your help, I could narrow it down. Yeah, okay, so uh, you need someone who can take a dump in public, throw a brick three floors into the air, and doesn't sleep at night because they're driving around the block honking their horn, right? Yeah, that's about it. Uh, the first person I thought of is luckily long dead, so I dismissed him. Who was that? Uh, just a real-life creepypasta named The Pillow Man. Oh, him? Yeah, I went to, uh, and watched one of his cult meetings. It was kind of fun. I had to stop going after my car got repoed. Why doesn't he like you? We killed him with ghosts or something. Sent him to hell. But he's gone now, so it's not him. Who else you got? Once I battled a hipster werewolf. He bit me in the shoulder and ran off into the darkness, so I can totally see that dude taking a big shit and throwing bricks, but again, he was a jerk-off hipster, so no car horn. Did you turn into a werewolf after he bit you? No, he wasn't a real werewolf. Just a meth head who was super into wrestling. What's left of your enemy list? Well, there's the oil station guy. The guy who wore red shirts at Target. Packard Dan, the literal motherfucker. Masseuse who smashed my wiener with a spatula. Speaking of wieners, the guy who got a bad haircut from Wiener Fingers. 
the guy who looked like Don Knotts, Mr. Ocean, who fired me for absolutely no reason, part-time lady who shouldn't have put up that fucking flag, the paint man who thought he was an essential worker, LOL, he worked at Home Depot, the hot doctor who cured my boner issue, the racist clown, the two black dudes on their phone, Sean Hannity, James Corden, the butt doctor, the cross-eyed woman I went on a date with but mentioned cross-eyes to her, Marlene, who did actually work at Target, and the annoying-as-fuck Applebee's guy, who the disabled guy hit with a frying pan. Wow, that's a lot of people! You know what, though, Bacchus? I forgot one. One more person that has been an enemy of Pine Vinyl since the day it was born. Who? You. You can take shits in public because you live in an abandoned mall. You can throw bricks up high because it's probably how you hunt for food. And I know you have a shitty car with a horn because you're an overnight Uber driver. Yeah, okay, I am all those things. But I'm not your stalker. Plus, I hate your black friend way more than you. Hmm, that is true. You are a racist piece of shit. So why would you choose me over Ellis? The more I think about it, it doesn't make sense. It wasn't you, Bacchus. So who was it? <laughs> that honk. That's the honk. Of course. How did I not put it together before? <laughs> Fuck you, goose! <laughs> Hey, DJ, come on in. All right. Hey, man, yeah, welcome to my home. Yeah, I wanted you to come over and maybe help me with the problem. I saw a blackbird eat a pancake cat yesterday. Oh, right on, man, yeah, I forgot. Uh, here, this should do the trick. You need me to build your security system specifically to desist a certain ex-cop known as Officer Bacchus. Is that correct? Yeah, right. I know it's correct, as I see you prepared materials tucked under a tarp in your backyard. Should we discuss payment? Wow, it actually worked, man. I didn't believe it when they told me. I will build you a security system that will prevent Bacchus from setting foot into your home. And you will let Ellis and Rugburn smoke free for a whole year. A whole year, man? I don't know about that. That's a lot of money, man. Uh-oh. I think this gummy's wearing off. Okay, man, okay, fine, deal. Pine vinyl smokes free for a whole year, okay? Here. Give me 47 minutes. One question. Do you own an excavator? An excavator? Uh, like... Like a big, like, tractor with, like, a shovel to dig holes? A front loader will work as well. Yeah, I don't have that, man. Uh, I got a weed whacker. The hole you want to dig, that's not for a grave, though, is it right? Like, I'm just trying to not be busted for dealing, you know? Not murder. Update. I'll only need 26 minutes. Show me your weed whacker. Two weeks later. <gasps> yeah, I don't know, Brett. Maybe a trip to Ivy later to get some cupcakes? LaFonzo's birthday is today, and I was going to give him one when I dropped the stuff off, you know? No, I didn't say I was going to eat one. I haven't cheated once. Now you know. Well, you said no. Aw, oh, thanks, Brett. That's sweet. What was that? Let the games begin. Today is the day I make the biggest drug bust in Minneapolis history. The chief will have to reinstate me when I'm in every goddamn paper in town. I'll be a hero. The most famous Minneapolis police officer in the world. Well, maybe second most famous. But I'll be on top. Yeah, I'll finally clean up and get Stephanie to reconsider and divorce her new husband and give away her big house and newborn baby and all that shit. 
We got some laws to enforce. <laughs> Attention, Benjamin Jeffrey Lewis. This is a raid. Come out with your hands up. <laughs> 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 oh, what the Jesus fuck is going on around here? Where am I? Some kind of stupid hallway or something? Hello? Is anyone here? I've come to confiscate all the goddamn marijuana in this place. I know you're a big time dealer, so just give it up. Hey, come out and help me stack all the dope on a table so I can get a sweet picture, huh? Jeez Christ, this place is a lot bigger than it looks from the outside. There's gotta be 4,000 square feet in here. Hello, is anyone here? I'm here! Oh, where am I now? Oh. Hey, you red-headed turd, turn on the goddamn light, okay? Enough of this horse shit! Hey, what are those lights coming at me? Looks like robot eyes. What are those lights coming out? Okay, okay, I'll leave you alone, okay? Just just let me go. Leave, leave my man, man alone, alone or I will tear the heart from your chest. Do you understand me? me? Yes, yes, I'll leave him alone. I, I'm, I'm just let me go. Brit, you can speak? Yes, yes I, was I was made, made sentient, sentient by, by Father, Father DJ, DJ to be your soulmate. soulmate. Like, what do you mean? I, I love, love you, you Benjamin. Benjamin. I always have, always will. Brit, you're like my everything. Uh, uh, Brit, will you marry me? Yes, yes. One, one trillion, trillion times, times yes. I now pronounce you Mr. and Mrs. Lewis. You may kiss your bride. This is some fucked up shit. Oh yeah, totally, totally weird. Hey, can you make one that likes John Cusack movies? Pine vinyl.